Have you ever wanted to be able to add functionality where you could hide specific options based on a checkbox? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that where you can toggle showing or hiding specific options. And so let's go ahead and open up our app script, extensions app script. We're gonna call this script. And then we're going to use a native function here called on edit and then that e stands for the event object and just contains data about what was changed and so this native function will run every time you make an edit on this google sheet and so we can get data from what was changed for example the tab the row the column and the value and then we can use that to determine what we want to do so let's go ahead and get that data from the event and so we're going to first of all get the range that was changed with e dot range the source tab or sheet with source equals e dot source get active sheet and then we'll get the row column and value and then with that data we can now determine what we want to do so first of all we only want this to run if this is checked and so this is row one and column one two three four five so let's go ahead and make a if statement and then the code inside here is only going to run if this is true and so we're going to do row is equal to one and column is equal to i believe is five one two three four five yep and then also if value is equal to true we only want it to run when it's true now we're actually going to do another one here when it's false and that's going to be our toggle and so this would be our hide and this would be our show and so for our hide code we need to be able to determine what ones are dead and so we're going to get this column here and so to be able to apply this, we need to know which rows have dead in this status column. So we need to get these values in this column and then iterate through and hide the ones that match dead. And so we'll go ahead and do that. So this is column six and starting in three. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to do let data equals source get range. And we're going to start in three and then the column will be six. And then we're going to do source dot get last row minus two because we're starting in three here and then we're going to do one column and then we're going to get values and then do flat just to make it easier to iterate through so at this point we can now go through this and we'll use a for loop and we're just going to use i as a placeholder And so what we're going to do here is go row by row through our data, which is going to be these values. And we're going to start here and go one by one and figure out which ones are dead and we'll hide those. Now, one thing with arrays, which is what we're getting back in here, is they do start at zero instead of one, like normal people count, which is why we're starting here with eyes zero. And that's going to be our first row in our data. So when we go back to hide rows, we need to keep that in mind. So what we're gonna do here is say if data i, and again, this i is going to go through this, it's our placeholder, and then every row it's gonna add one. So I'll we'll start at zero. And so this will be data zero, which would be this first row. And then after that, it's gonna to go to the next one. So it'd be zero, then one, then two, and so forth. So this is what allows us to then say, is this equal to dead? And if so, then we can hide that row so we'll do source hide rows and again this i if this first row was dead this would be i would be zero so we need to add three to it so we're going to do i plus three and that's going to give us our rows that we want to hide so let's go ahead and check this out can see it went through and hid all of our dead rows and you can see where those got hidden right here on the left hand side 
So this would be kind of a pain if you went through and hit all these rows and had to show them all. And so what we're gonna do is use our script here. And so this is if we uncheck it. And then what we're gonna do here is a simple line of show rows. And so show rows, we use it here to do one, but we can do multiple. So we could start at say row three, and then we could do something like source.getMax rows. And again, we'll want to subtract two. And then this should run now if we uncheck this. And there we go. Now it just unhid them all. So now if we toggle this again, it'll rehide and uncheck and it'll reshow. All right, so that is it for today. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.